Bless up viewers and subscribers. So, teacher stabbed over incident that happened three years ago in a classroom. A young man who reportedly stabbed his farm teacher seven times, damaging her lungs and heart after she went to complain to his mother that he had deliberately bumped into her, was remanded for a psychiatric evaluation. Matthew Smith, 18, of Coolerville Garden, St. Andrew, was arrested and charged with wounding with intent following the bloody incident which almost cost the complainant her life. However, he had his charge reduced to unlawful wounding. This development did not sit well with the complaint who earlier was in tears and angrily voiced her opinion in court and had to be scolded by Judge Crooks. However, Crooks in the end acceded to the wishes of complaint and kept the charge and the matter was sent to committal court. Smith lawyer Stacey and Knight during the hearing also made a bail application explaining to the court that her client had been suffering from a post-traumatic stress disorder and that he is prepared to relocate if granted bail. She also told the court that her client is prepared to undergo psychiatric evaluation. The lawyer also told the judge to consider bail on the basis of provocation. However, the complainant told the court that prior to the incident, she only had one run-in with Smith, which appeared between two and three years ago, when he was in school and she was his teacher. The judge, who seemed prepared to grant Smith bail, then told the lawyer that he was going to be cautious and schedule the hearing for another date and have Smith transferred to the Tower Street Psychiatric Wing for him to be evaluated. A date for the bail hearing was agreed for November the 8th. According to allegations previous outlined in court on August the 24th, about 4.40 p.m., the complainant was walking towards her house when she saw the accused walking with some trash. It was reported that the accused then purposely bumped into her, but they both went their separate ways. Sometime later, the complainant reportedly saw the accused mother and told her about what happened. However, this was denied by the accused who came along and told the complainant to stop talking. An argument reportedly developed between them during which the accused kept pointing his hand in the complainant's face. The complainant reportedly shoved the accused's hands out of her face after which he brandished a ratchet knife and she ran. Further reports are that he chased her and stabbed there seven times in the upper body and she fell on her hands and knees. Smith reportedly kicked her several times in the face, causing the complainants to fall on her back. The complainant who was assisted to the University Hospital of the West Indies was admitted and spent a week there before she was released, but she is scheduled to return for further treatment. I do not agree with the charge being reduced. This young man almost killed me. She then went to say, this boy, but was stopped by the judge who told her to control her emotions and to respect the court. Judge Crooks then explained to her that the charge was being reduced because the accused plans to plead guilty and the court does not have jurisdiction to sentence him on that charge. He also told her that if the matter is sent to high court, it is likely that it might be returned given the backlog or it might be years before it is settled. Hence, he was trying to prevent any further frustration by the system. The complainant who shook non-stop while she was in court told the court that Smith was first charged with attempted murder and that it was reduced. The judge in response told her that attempted murder is a very technical charge and is very hard to prove. Yes people so them teacher yeah them have just know say the students them unruly you understand cuz sometimes you have to just see something like that happen the youth bumping her for spite maybe him not like her you know from she teach him or whatever reason you understand so the teacher stand up for her right you know she could have avoided it if she never said nothing to her to the youth mother or whoever you understand but me can't blame her because you can't really put fear in your heart but reason why I say she shouldn't bother say nothing is because the students them in Jamaica believe me them unruly and them not take talk the other day me see a youth me see something on YouTube where the youth are treating the teacher to her face a youth from Calabar them can't find a youth you know so if youth are treating teacher to them face what you think and the youth are sent shit about is a reason why I'm not rubber and you know what I say 
people young generations them not respect you and if them not gonna respect you as a teacher them them not gonna respect nobody else you understand me because remember say yeah yeah educate them you know and if them not say boy you know me, me have to respect my teacher because you know she had try to teach me and so me can prepare for the future where you expect but anyway viewers and subscribers comment and make me know where you think about that incident yeah the student has stab up the teacher you understand and is a female teacher so you know she's supposed to fear for fear her life right about now you see me anyways bless up one love